Captain! Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is not a game I have covered that much. In fact, I covered it more prior to its release than after. But after learning a thing or two about the game, its story, and all that good stuff, a few things began to interest me in relation to Breath of the Wild. Now I know, this game isn't canon, but Primia River. I know. But that doesn't mean that there aren't valid points of discussion to make. I mean, the game is still heavily connected to Breath of the Wild in terms of story and characters. I just want to make it clear. Yes, I am aware the game is not canon in terms of the alternate timeline it creates, but that's not even what I'm interested in to be honest with you. What I am interested in is... Astor. The mysterious cloaked Girahim's little cousin looking sorcerer who plays the role of, whilst not technically confirmed, but heavily implied to be, fortune teller. He plays a fairly significant role in the story of Age of Calamity, acting as merely Ganon's pawn, but believing he has control and complete respect of the Calamity, which ultimately leads to his downfall. But something I haven't seen answered is, where is Aster from? I mean, someone with his dedication to Ganon, his knowledge and abilities to foresee the future has to come from somewhere special, right? Well, that is exactly what we will be discussing today. Be sure to go and grab yourself a snack or drink and send them in on social media to get featured right here. And let's now discuss, where is the Prophet of Doom, Astor, truly from? Firstly, what do we actually know about Astor? Well, not much. He is kept as a very mysterious and secretive character, and this is made clear throughout the events of the game. He always appears to be of the belief that he's ahead of everyone in terms of intelligence, and with good reason. He uses Harbringer Ganon to see into the future and set his plans of destroying Hyrule in the process. We know that for whatever reason, he follows Ganon, and this has led many players to believe that Aster may be of Gerudo origin, as Ganon's humanoid form is of course a Gerudo. Now we have seen in the trailer to Breath of the Wild sequel a Gerudo style Ganondorf, heavily implied to have ties to Calamity Ganon due to the malice flow connected to the corpse. This is all of Astor's belief. He follows this almighty evil and believes in the vision of it, but he literally cannot be Gerudo, and allow me to explain why if you don't already know. It is written into Zelda lore that there can only be one Gerudo male born every 100 years, and considering we can find a Gerudo male right here, that would rule out Astor as the Gerudo male. Now there is a question to be asked of Astor being alive 100 years prior to this, but we know something different is going on here. It has been theorised that someone, for some reason, is keeping a male Gerudo, this guy right here, alive, but sealed, in order to hold the rule of a Gerudo male being born every 100 years, but that's a theory to get into for another day. Astor Astor does wear Gerudo embedded clothing and jewellery, but this is likely because of his following of Ganon, in a similar sense to how many religions and beliefs in the real world wear necklaces or clothing in respect to their faith. This doesn't actually mean that Astor is Gerudo, he just follows someone of Gerudo origin. I don't personally see Astor as a Gerudo, and this next reason will fully support why I believe he is definitely not a Gerudo. If we look at Astor's description in the game, it is said that he is from a certain small village in Hyrule. Now, why would they say this? I mean, they didn't have to add this by any means, but they did. There is a purposeful implication here that he is from somewhere in Hyrule, but why was this mentioned? Well, probably just to make him even more mysterious, but this wouldn't be a Zelda theory without some looking too much into small, tiny details. So where could this small village be? We see tons of ruined and still standing settlements all over Hyrule in Breath of the Wild, and so many of them could fit the description of a small village. But there is one that stands out. Dea Village. You see, after completing the main story of Age of Calamity, you can continue the fun by collecting parts to repair Terako, gained by completing various quests. One of these quests takes us to Dea Village, and the description reads as follows. An old man in Dea Village is said to be so knowledgeable, it's like he has all-seen powers. Give him something rare or otherworldly, he'll tell you the location of what you seek. When you visited the place that the Dea Village Elder told you about, you found parts that might just be what you need. Maybe the mysterious fellow truly does see all. 
Whilst this takes place after Astor has fallen to his demise, the character described in this questline holds a strong similarity to the Prophet of Doom. It isn't verbally said, but is implied that this village elder, and keep note that they are an elder as I will be linking back to that later, it isn't verbally said, but is implied that this individual is also a seer. They are said to be so knowledgeable that if you bring them something rare or otherworldly that he'll be able to see what you seek. This is almost identical to how Astor uses his malice and use crystal to see the future events. It would be fair to say that his crystal can be considered otherworldly, right? Well, the requirements of the I That Sees Far quest are actually to bring the Dea Village Elder, three fairies, a star fragment, three giant ancient cores and a Korok seed. You could definitely say that fairies and ancient cores are rare and that star fragments are quote, otherworldly. And the village elder uses these to see far and locate the terrible parts you are looking for, something you couldn't see. He used the rare and otherworldly contents to see what cannot be seen. Astor, on the other hand, uses what also appears to be some sort of ancient core, but with a malice-infused crystal. It is possible that this is basically the same concept that the village elder uses, but only the elder is doing this for good. The quest name itself even hints towards this elder being a seer akin to Astor. It's literally a subtle hint at foresight and future predicting. It is clear that these two characters share identical abilities. They are both seers, they both require an unworldly source to enable their abilities, and their actual abilities are both the ability to see the unseen. But the piece of information that could potentially seal all of this together is that it was said that Astor is from a certain small village in Hyrule. 100 years ago, before the attack of Calamity Ganon, Dea Village was a small village in Hyrule. Nothing extremely notable like Castle Town or Heiteno Village, but one of the many settlements across Hyrule, and I personally believe that this was the home of Astor. And to further back this theory, I believe that the village elder we hear of was actually a relative of Aster. We can see that the Prophet of Doom is fairly young. He isn't an old mystical sorcerer, or at least he doesn't look it. He is still rather young looking. He knows how to see the future through the usage of otherworldly objects, and the only other person we know of who knows these abilities during this time frame is the Dea Village Elder. I am proposing that the elder of the village could have been Astor's father, or at least a close relative of sorts. Who could Astor have learnt this off, and perhaps learning such abilities at a young age led him to becoming twisted into the beliefs of Ganon, and use these abilities that the elder taught him, but for all the wrong reasons. To answer the question in the title of the video, I believe that Aster was from Dea Village, and at first was just your average civilian, until the wise elder showed him the pathway into foresight, which ultimately led Aster to turn and follow Ganon, knowing what the future held. Thanks a ton for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like as it helps tremendously to grow the channel, and also consider subscribing for more Zelda content. This idea was actually the works of our Discord server's resident and moderator, Twink. Be sure to join the server through the link below and come chat with us. What do you think of this little Astor theory? Could the mysterious man be from Dea Village, or does his origin lie elsewhere? Leave a comment below and look out for my replies. A huge heartfelt thank you goes out to all of my supporters across both Patreon and YouTube. Your generous support helps enable me to make these videos with ease for all of you, and special mention to our newest supporter, Not So Heroic Link. I love the name and thank you very much. If you'd also like to be a part of bringing these videos week in, week out, and get your name at the end of all of my videos and more, then consider supporting via Patreon or YouTube. Again, thanks for watching, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.